Hey everybody, Zyphrans92 here, back with another Movie Memories Monday for you. And today's for a show that I honestly think is very well done. It hasn't been noticed from the company, to my knowledge, who made it at all in recent years. I don't think... I think there is a complete set, but I had to find it. But it's going to be for the original Beyblade. Now, this Beyblade was the one I grew up with. I think it came out, what year again? 2001, I believe, or three. It does not say on here, but I'm going to guess it's roughly the uh, early 2000s. I think it's like 2001, the latest 2003 is when it started, um, following the ventures of a young kid named Ty in his Beyblade, the Dragoon. And the Dragoon is the um, very powerful, uh, one of the most powerful Beyblades in the show. Um, people have been wanting to get it from him for pretty much throughout the show, and he met up with um, four other friends. Um, I can't remember what their names are offhand. Let's see what it reads on the back. Beyblade, the animated series, draws from the spirit of the real-life sport and incorporates it into an animated world, filled with cool characters, high-octane competition, and, and ancient mystical beasts. With a little comedy, suspense, mystery, and international intrigue um, thrown in for good measure. Already a major hit in Japan, this 51-episode action-adventure series is sure to is sure to please hardcore anime fans, as well as appeal to anyone who enjoys the thrill of competition. The, an extreme action-oriented storytelling. This release includes the first seven episodes of the classic first season. Oh, sorry. What I ate not agreeing with me today. Um, so, on the cover you see um, Dragoon and Ty on it. I used to actually have a couple of his original Beyblade toys a long time ago when I was younger. And I looked online to see, just for nostalgia reasons, how much they could be worth, and they are expensive. Really, really expensive. So, big no for me collecting that for a very, very long time. So, yeah, this show was honestly... It had its corny moments. It was honestly cheesy. But usually some dub animated series that isn't Pokemon are usually really, really corny. This one is corny, but I've seen worse. I mean, Transformers Armada is the best Transformers to me, but it also is incredibly corny. But this show is really animated well. The characters are goofy, and it has also some dark elements, too. It's a really cool show. I believe that his other friend is Kai. I can't remember if I'm correct on that. I'm not sure if it's if it's the guy with the gray hair or the guy who looks like a tiger. I can't remember. Uh, why can I remember their names? It's been several years since I've seen this. Um, and then when I got this DVD a couple of years ago, I watched the first seven episodes on here. And that was it. I didn't watch them afterwards. Uh, it's still worth watching, but I st haven't watched it in a very long time. Cause I kind of want to get the, the complete set someday. I'm hoping to complete this set and then future series like Zoids and everything like that. Um, but yeah, this... Is worth the watch. the the act The animation is very well done. The story is well done. The characters are cool. Um, the Beyblade battle scenes are really nice. And there are future versions of Beyblade, uh, but I didn't really. I've seen some of them, but I just didn't care for the characters. I guess in comparison to the original, the I don't know. The, the animation was well done for the newer series, but that's probably the only thing I really think of that I actually thought were okay. But nothing can beat the original to me. Uh, but tell me in comments below what you guys girls think about this video and what do you think of the original Beyblade. Do you remember the show? And I definitely remember that theme song. See you guys next time. God bless.